one of the primary reasons why we study songbirds is that they're one of the few vertebrate species that, like humans, are not born with their ability to sing their, their songs, but they actually have to learn them during development. So they have to learn their vocalizations. And, and interestingly, the, the brain circuits that underlie this vocal learning are highly similar to the brain circuits that are underlying speech learning and language learning in humans. So we think that we can gain a lot of information about potential mechanisms of speech and language learning in humans by studying songbirds. So linguists have found that despite that there's a huge diversity of languages across the world, they found that a lot of languages share these common structures, these common sequences of vocalizations. And we were curious to see to what extent uh, songbirds had similar types types of sort of these, if you will, universals in vocal patterns. Okay, so what we did was we took these five sort of typical elements of the song and we tutored the birds with those five elements in a completely random order. So they heard all the orders of these five elements, so they had to sort of pick which order they wanted to produce. And so we found that across all the birds we tutored, they tended to do certain similar kinds of patterns, which suggests to us that they have these predispositions in learning to produce particular types of sequences. And not only that, but they actually tended to match some of the kinds of patterns that we also see in human language and human music.